Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you looking at the channel and actually requesting things. I also have an Instagram, a Facebook, and I don't know if I'm going to do a website. Um, I'm just really on the fence about that kind of stuff. This isn't, I'm not trying to make like a living off of painting lures. Um, I've been doing it for a while on and off as a hobby and doing it also to make a little money to support my addiction for fishing. That's mainly what it's been for. Um, but today we are going to do a custom dragon claw. It is a pattern that I created, uh, back in 2018 and I was going to do a multitude of them and I changed my mind and literally stopped painting. I stopped painting for a while and someone messaged me on Instagram and requested that I paint a dragon claw, but not just any dragon claw. He wants me to paint it in a koi fish color scheme. So with that being said, that's what we're going to be doing today. What you're going to need if you're going to follow whatever cross stencil you have will work because this stencil was made by me directly through the silhouette machine and it's 100% custom there's no links to it um, if you want to buy them just either message me on Instagram or Facebook and we can get things squared away but back to what you need, white, black, yellow. I said yellow, what I think of orange. Yellow, and I was looking at the yellow, don't mind me. Orange and yellow. And then of course your stencil that you're planning on using. Helping hands, I use gloves, you don't need gloves. I'm going to use a medium airbrush this time versus my Omni 5000, I'm going to use the Sotar. It's a little bit slower, but it's more precise, especially when you're going around these ledges here and you don't want to overspray. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to go with white as the primary. I'm thinking if I want to do scales on this thing or not. My original Dragon Claw didn't have scales, so don't mind me. I'm, I'm just looking right now if I want to do s scales on this or not. Because it's technically supposed to be a crawfish, but he wants it in Koi fish pattern. I'm not going to use scales because this is supposed to be a crawfish. There goes, there goes the answer to that. So first thing we're going to do is use white. And this is kind of freestyle because it's custom. So just bear with me. It's more of a trial and error run. I think. Not 100% sure. I'm gonna slide these out of the way, make sure this is gonna spray good. Yep. Okay, here we go. Do I wanna go solid white? We'll see. With this chrome body. I try not to spray angles. Angling is cool when you're creating scales. Angling is cool when you're wanting to create scales, but try to go straight on when you're doing patterns. 
Esperar. I'm going to be straight on. I am actually going to be using. I am going to use the other brush. doesn't work perfectly over this shape of crankbait. So I'm, gonna, I'm still thinking I want to add some kind of Detailing it doesn't have to be uh, scales, but it has to be something. Something has to be added. So just give me a split second. I need to find some extra helping hands. Okay, I found what I was looking for. My area is slowly becoming a mess. That means I'm actually in here working. It's a good thing. So we're gonna wrap some of this metal mesh over the top. Is that not long enough? Okay. I got the metal mesh to cover the areas that I want. And I am going to use a little bit of yellow in some areas and a little bit of orange in some areas. And what I'm going to do with the black is run it along the edges of my stencil to create Claw. So I'm going to spray here in the front and on the one side, and then spray here. We're just making this up so you get to do it how you want. Spray there and then leave it alone. I have a ton of extra yellow, so I'm just going to spray it on one of my other baits that I've been working on. Back in 2019. Oh, when the world did I start spraying this? Oh, also, you need your mask. I didn't mention that. I would expect you to definitely have that. And then the next color is going to be orange. drops because that's way too much that's way too much and then hit in areas where you didn't put yellow Sure. 
you are spraying directly on straight on to the stencil right along the ledges for that to work out probably only need like a drop make sure it's coming out black Yep. You just run it right along the edge. And then you can go over the top. Thing on this side, just follow the edge. Make sure you're not angling. I almost did. You can go with black around the eyes. The mesh doesn't matter here. If it makes a, a uh, detailed area, then rock with it. All right, we're gonna heat set this area. Now that that's done, we're gonna take this off and readjust it to make sure that the claw Doesn't look like much of anything just yet until we add the other features. So what we're gonna do now is just readjust this. Yes, so that it's all right. So I'm gonna have to hold this in place with my hand. And not put it on my helping hands because it's not holding how I want it to. So the next step is just hit it with the white on the back side. Then heat set it. Put your mesh over. Try to keep it in place. Make sure you got a something just to help you get another set of grips just to hold that in place for you there you go now we're gonna hit it with some yellow an orange and then the black especially cleaning out the black out of the brush I should have did that in the beginning knowing I was gonna go back And you just want to hit some areas with the yellow. 
And you're gonna go back. Same thing with the orange. You don't even have to heat set this part. This part you just wanna get it done. Hit some areas with the orange. Now this part you do want to heat set. Because you're going to want to go with the black just along the sides. To the front end, and make sure it's spraying out black. Yep. And just run it right along the edges. You can go over the top real quick, not too much. And before peeling off all of this, heat set it once again. Peel it off. All right, now that I got this part done, like I said it's not gonna look like much of anything until it's clear coated. I am going to put the actual claws on each side. I don't recommend anybody trying to tempt this, this stencil or this pattern, it's, it's a pain. get things to stay how you want them. Heat set this side. I'm just lining up the other ones. Also, the closer your stencil is to the body, the sharper the image is gonna look. The further the stencil away is, the softer it's gonna look. I can get away with sliding a little orange right in there too. I think I'm going to do that. All right, there's the rest of the orange. 
and there it is. I gotta put the eyes on it. I thought about doing something underneath the uh, belly area, but in the original, it's not, doesn't have anything on the belly area as well. So I'm not gonna do it. But I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. There will be more to come. If you want to see me paint something in particular, let me know. Thank you all for the support. Thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe, you know, share with your friends, like it, leave a comment. All that stuff's good. Thank you all. Have a good night.